Good evening, Marianne. What are you up to? Um, I found this in the mess hall. Oh! That's... It was at your seat, so I wondered if it maybe belonged to you, or if... Actually, it is mine. Thank you. It's not a very good painting, is it? I mean, the use of color and composition are all wrong. Oh, I think it's wonderful. The Pegasus looks as though she's about to take flight at any moment. You really think so? Well, that's good to hear. Um, so did you paint this, Ignatz? What? I, um... <laughs> huh. I guess you found me out. The brushstrokes are soft, yet it has a true sense of movement. I think it's beautiful. Well, I was hoping to combine the Pegasi's gentle nature and powerful wings in a single image. This was more of a test, to see what poses and focal points would be most effective for... Oh, I'm sorry. I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> it's all right. Though I honestly had no idea you liked Pegasi so much. They don't allow men to ride them, so I don't tend to hear too much praise for them. But they're so kind, and so powerful when they fly. They truly are the most magnificent creatures. You seem to like them just as much as I do, Marianne. I've never seen you smile like this before. Oh, uh, I... Uh, I wasn't, uh... Don't worry. I'm just as bashful about it as you are. Uh, say, here's an idea. Would you mind if I watched you spend some time with a Pegasus? I promise to keep a good distance so as not to put it in too much of a sour mood. I certainly don't mind, but... Why? Well, if I ever want to paint one that I'm happy with, I need to observe it up close. Or as close as it will let me get, at any rate. Oh, what a wonderful idea! To be honest, I'd resign myself to the idea that a male painter could never do one justice. But hearing your kind words has given me the courage to try my hand at it again. So, thank you for that. I'm happy to help. Truly, I am. Thank you for all of your help again today. I was happy to do it. <gasps> Bring me more hay for eyes? That's so rude! I'm sorry, Ignatz. I fear she's getting a bit too familiar with you now. <laughs> I'm just glad she's getting used to me. Although I probably could have done without that four eyes comment. Ignatz, why have you continued helping me care for these Pegasi? Surely you have enough to paint your picture now, yet you continue fetching hay and mucking out stalls. You're probably right, but this is for my dreams. You remember the painting you picked up before? Well, I created it to resemble the Pegasus I once rode with my mother when I was small. You rode a Pegasus with your mother? Yes. I heard she was a Pegasus Knight a long time ago, and when I showed interest, she took me for a ride. The moment we took off, I got so scared I buried myself in her sleeve and missed the whole first part. But once I finally managed to pry open my eyes, the view was breathtaking. I saw the whole of Lester spread out before me. It stirred something in my heart, and I... I wanted... You wanted to become a painter? I wanted to become a Pegasus Knight! Ah, uh, but that was just one of my many silly childhood dreams. Plus, after we landed, my mother told me that Pegasi don't allow adult men to ride them. So that pretty much nipped my dream in the bud. I see. But while I may have been forced to give up that dream, I can be anything I want in my imagination. And by interacting with Pegasi like this, 
It's easier to imagine myself soaring through the sky. You clearly still hold dear the desire to ride one. Even if we weren't speaking of it now, your passionate feelings resonate throughout your paintings. What? You can... sense my feelings? Yes. I can easily tell how precious you consider Pegasi. Oh, that's what you meant. And if this one understands how you feel, then maybe... just maybe... she will permit you to ride her. But... isn't that impossible? Normally, yes. But she's very used to you now, and... honestly, I'd really like to see it. I would dearly love to see your dream finally come true. Well, if you put it like that, I can't very well say no. Hello, Pegasus. Will you please deign to carry your new friend, Four Eyes, up into the sky? No! I take it back! I take it all back! I wanted to fly, but not like this! Oh dear! I thought she'd let him climb on her back, but grab his clothing in her teeth. Goodness, I hope they don't rip. It would be a very long way down. Oh, I can't enjoy the scenery like this! <laughs> 